that uh, tug of war that is going on between the opposition and the government. Now, Congress MP KC Venugopal has moved a privilege motion against Prime Minister Narendra Modi for alleged derogatory remarks against Congress leader Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. This is related to Prime Minister's remark on uh, First Prime Minister Pandit Nehru, which he gave in Parliament. Pallavi Ghosh is here with me. So, Pallavi, one privilege notice pitted against the other. That's right. So, Mr. Kesu Venu Gopal, who's also the organization general secretary, again, very, very close to Rahul Gandhi on this. He's just filed a privilege notice against the Prime Minister. And, you know, he, he writes it very elaborately in that notice. Uh, he's objected to what he calls comments of the Prime Minister, which are in bad taste, which cast aspersions on both Sonia as well as Rahul Gandhi. And we are talking specifically about the motion of thanks response which was given by the Prime Minister where he talks about Jawaharlal Nehru and why his surname has not been picked up by the members of the Gandhi family. So yes, uh, now the public notice as a procedure is that the House will have to accept it or reject it, whatever the case may be. But privileged notices are usually uh, opportunities to score political points. In, in Lok Sabha, there's a privileged notice pending against Rahul Gandhi for his comments on the Prime Minister over the Adani issue in his motion of thanks. So these are opportunities, as we were talking about, for political opponents to take pot shots at each other and also to pitch uh, uh, against each other. It looks unlikely, Pallavi, that uh, any uh, you know privileged notice against the Prime Minister will get accepted. And if it is indeed not accepted, uh, is the KC Venugopal, uh, the privileged notice, trying to prove that point that Rahul Gandhi made, trying to embarrass the ruling side by saying that your side brings in a privileged notice against Rahul Gandhi and no. that gets processed, but not what uh, the opposition says? Well, I mean, frankly speaking, you can't predict what the House decision will be. It's the prerogative of the chairperson to admit the privileged notice or not. But uh, yes, certainly, uh, I think the point which the Congress Party is wanting to make is that if you're going to accuse Rahul Gandhi of casting aspersions on the Prime Minister and bring a bad name to him, then so has the BJP done as far as the Nehru Gandhi or Gandhi family is concerned. Uh, you know, it's consistently over multiple issues. For example, the most uh, recent issue of uh, Rahul Gandhi, you know, kind of demeaning India abroad uh, has also been countered by the Congress Party with specific clips which they put out on the social media platform to show where the Prime Minister also had done when he was travelling abroad. So the Congress Party has decided to use this communication platform uh, very strongly, very aggressively to take a give a rebuttal to the BJP and to the government. Pallavi, can you once again explain to our viewers what is the procedure followed when a privilege notice is given? Is this supposed to be time-bound? See, the privilege notice is sent to the chairperson or the speaker in the case of the Lok Sabha. The speaker and the chairperson, uh, as the case may be, actually goes through the notice and then they usually forward it. They accept it, they admit it. Uh, there's no time bound. I mean, you know, for example, Nishikan Dubey's privilege notice against Rahul Gandhi uh, did not take too much of time. There was a privileges committee, which the matter is then referred to. The privileges committee has multiple meetings, specifically talking about the Lok Sabha case. The privilege notice moved by Nishikan Dubey against him. One round of meeting has already been held in which Nishikan Dubey, the ones who moved the privilege notice, are called. They are asked what is it that they want to say, what is their point of view and what is it that they want. Okay. That first round is already over. Mm -hmm. At one stage, Rahul Gandhi will also be expected to come before the privilege committee and put forward his argument and his case. Okay. That's how the procedure goes and these things usually take some time. It depends on the number of meetings they call. Palavi Ghosh, thank you so much. Palavi, they are reporting that now KC Venu Gopal, MP from the Congress Party, has moved for a privilege motion against Prime Minister Modi. That's what is happening in Indian Parliament. We'll keep an eye on that.